Hi, hello, welcome to another episode on the Zen Care YouTube channel. It's another month and it's time for another monthly challenge. So last month, all I did to my hair was water and oils and I grew a whole inch. I grew three centimeters in just one month and I did scalp massages also. So this month, I'm going to be adding something new to the mix. I'm going to be doing the inversion method. So let's see, will I actually grow more than just an inch this month with the inversion method or should I just debunk? the myth that the inversion method works so if you're interested in the results stick to the end of this video previous video that you saw was me during the first week of installing my style and the first week of you know doing the inversion method i was really excited about it i had not yet done proper research i just knew that people on youtube had done the inversion method and i was going to do it to, to see if my hair will grow longer then doing more research i came across the fact that there's no scientific proof that the inversion method works and you're not even supposed to do it for more than seven days your girl has done it for nine days so i'm going to stop because it gets to a point that your head actually gets used to the flow of blood so there's no added benefit dangerous to your health at that point so i'm going to be stopping and then at the end of the month i'm going to unravel my hair and see if i actually grew more than an inch this month or if the inversion method really 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 doesn't even work if you missed last month's hair growth challenge video, I'll leave the link in the description box below. But if you didn't, you know the drill. I spritz my hair with water daily and I oil my scalp regularly. But then I noticed that with this hairstyle, the Zen knots, water and oils weren't getting to the middle portion of my head. So on some days, I would spritz my hair like this. And oil my scalp like this, just so that all the goodness gets to the middle portion of my head. Across your eyes. I learned how to massage my scalp more gently, like you can see me doing on the right. Now to the inversion method. Some people said you could use this posture whilst lying on your back, but this gave me neck pain. I personally prefer this posture because it releases tension on my back, but if you suffer from back pain, this may not be the best posture for you. So this is the easiest, most comfortable way to invert your head and stay there for four minutes and then make sure you gently stand from the inversion posture the day is finally here it's time to take down my hair um i have my detangling tools with me my fingers as usual my spray bottle and my leave-in conditioner the nature's gentle touch monoy oil natural hair restore serum really really sad that the inversion method doesn't work but then i shouldn't be surprised i mean there was no scientific proof just that all that effort wasted but then what's also shocking to me is that my hair remained the same length so i'm thinking was it something that i did although i've not done my middle section anyways <sighs> not happy middle section was 39 centimeters and now it's 38. I'm really worried that my hair didn't grow longer at all. Even though I did what I did last month that helped me grow a whole inch. This month my hair didn't grow at all and it's not like my hair didn't grow from the roots but something 
in between must have caused breakage. I remember that my wash day before I installed the Zen nuts was a bit hectic because I had lots of nuts. I spent more time detangling. There was breakage, but I didn't think anything of it. But now, checking my hair length a month after and seeing that my hair didn't grow at all, even though my hair grew from the roots, I know there's a problem. So I was really skeptical about posting this video. I wasn't sure how people were going to receive it.